so i'm uh, rishikesh shinde yeah so uh, i graduated in mechanical engineering from uh, vjti college matunga and then i decided to go for computational biology and uh, i gave gre around 1 october uh, scored 325 Uh, in it and uh, then I applied for Germany. I got into the U Dresden, a computational modeling and simulation program, uh, specialization in computational biology. The reason I chose the U Dresden was because it was closer to three Max Plancks there, and also Dresden is quite good in the area of computational biology. The government has invested a lot into the research program, and as my aim is to do PhD in the topic of computational biology, I felt that U Dresden would be a great choice. So uh, first things first is I enrolled for the GRE program as well for the classes. Kind of teaching that we got it was very informal. That uh, teacher will come to us and it is a very personal relationship that uh, gets evolved with the faculty at the endeavor, and that helped us a lot. Along with that, the endeavor test series that we had, uh, that uh, you can come at endeavor and you can give that test series, and you can do it from home as well. The endeavor test series is first class. So even if you'll cover the entire test series and if you do it properly religiously, I think that is enough for you to score a really good score in uh, GRE, and that helped me a lot uh, to crack the GRE thing. After that, uh, when I enrolled for the counseling, uh, I think the one thing that I really noticed is the again the personal relationship. The entire process is very fluid. The faculty helps you to uh, decide okay what you want to do. they also consider the what are your personal goals and and on the basis of that uh, they advise you you really feel like that even the faculty also cares that yeah you don't you need to do that and we will help you with that and the thing this thing has been constant throughout my entire journey till the visa process even though it is a very short term process that you have to write sop and one might think that okay after you write sop you get into admission the job is over but it it is really not the case because you in the entire process you also learn how to write the sop even though it's not like that you have said this all these things that i want and the faculty will give you sop that is really not the case you also learn during the entire process that how should i write how things should be so i would say that the entire journey has been very helpful for me because now i know if if i'm applying to some other phd position or some job position i will always remember the what faculty will write what these guys will say that how should be my thought process and how should i put my thoughts on paper so i think in that sense is also really helpful that it's not just about uh, delivering the sop is delivering the lr it's more about what you think and how you should put it on the paper i would suggest that uh, with given my background that in mechanical engineering and i then changed my uh, field to computational biology which is now more close to mechanical engineering but the faculty was supportive and they made sure that okay you know the subject and you know that you are confident and that you want to do you want to have research career in this field then you should go ahead and i think aspirant should know that ki they should have some passion if they have passion then go for it the faculty is here to help them and they should have that uh, confidence in them and if they have it then i think that is enough because the overwhelming help that the students will get here that is enough to crack them gre and even the admission process so i'm uh, excited about the new people that are meet the new culture new countries and more than that but i'm more uh, excited about the career opportunities the research opportunities yeah i have always had a dream that i'll work with the top notch scientists all over the world max planck eth zurich cambridge university all these people are coming to my university they're doing their research and i'm going to that department now to do research that is really exciting